Walk-ups are short walking lines that you can use to link up different chords in your bass lines. Now they can make blues bass lines sound a lot more exciting and you can also smoothen out your bass line because you'll have less jumps and it will make your lines more linear. There's a particular walking bass line that's used time and time again in blues bass lines and even in jazz walking lines. And I'm going to show you that in a minute, but first of all, I'm just going to play you a 12 bar and show you how it can sound a bit boring if you don't put any walk ups in there. This is a 12 bar in the key of A with a shuffle feel. Now listen to me adding a few walk ups into that fairly basic bass line. I think you agree that sounded a lot more interesting with those walk-ups. So what's the formula that we can use every time for these walk-ups? Well first of all I'm going to show you the walk-up going from A7 to D7. So this is the first chord change that we've got in our 12 bar in the key of A. So start on the 5th fret of the E string, we've got A there. And the 5th fret of the A string, we've got D. Okay, So we've got this fretboard pattern here, it's just um, a string higher. So we need to link up those two chords. So the walk up I played was this. Okay, and what we do is we play the three frets before the target root note, which is D. Okay, so we just play these three frets before it. B, C, C sharp, D. Okay, so start with A. Okay, and we can use shuffle eighth notes. Or we can play that nice and short. Okay, so we're just playing two notes on each note. Now you can download a PDF with all these musical examples on it for free. Just click the link below in the description and that's in standard notation and tab. So once you have this walk up going from A to D, you can put that into any key if you're playing a 12 bar in a different key. Um, that's called 1 A and that's called 4 D. Okay, so say we started a blues in E, E called 1 called 4 which is A. Okay, so when you have chord 1 and chord 4, that pattern will always work. If you're enjoying this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. And don't forget to click the bell too, so you'll get notified of all my new lessons as they come out. Now let's try the walk up from D7 to A7. Okay, so we need to change in the 12 bar. We need to kind of go back to A. Okay, and what we can do is we can use the three frets below A, which is now as our target root note. So we can use D, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Okay, so again, we're just using those three frets below A. So, or using shuffle eighth notes. Okay, so that's the pattern going back from chord four to chord one. Now we could, if we played D and then A up there, we could just walk up to A. So that's playing the A there instead of here. Okay, so that works as well. If you've learned something already in this lesson and you really want to become a, an accomplished blues bass player, then check out my Walk the Blues video course. You'll come out of the course feeling a lot more confident about your blues playing and you will have acquired the skills needed to get up at a blues jam or a gig and know exactly what to play. 
So if you're interested in that, you can click the link below in the description or head straight to my website, which is gbshed.com, and then select video courses in the top menu, and you'll find Walk the Blues in there. Now we're going to walk from A7 to E7, okay? So that's when you're going into the um, ninth bar of the 12th bar, okay? Um, so we've got A here, fifth fret of the E string, and then we're going to play E, seventh fret of the A string. Now you've got a choice, you can play an open E as well, it sounds great, but for now we're going to play it on the seventh fret of the A string. So, you've probably guessed it, you just play three frets below E, which is now the target root note. Okay, so we start from A, a, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, okay? Or with shuffle eighth notes. Or short. Okay, so you've probably worked out really what the formula is now. Whatever your target root note is, you play three chromatic notes below it. Okay, then you've got a system here from going A to D. D back to A and then A to E. Okay, so it's great, so it just works every time. And you can um, transpose this into different keys and use it into any key, so it always works. Now you also have walk downs, okay? I'm just gonna show you one quickly now. So we're going from D7 back to A7, we can do this walk down here. Okay, on that walk down, we're doing three chromatic notes um, above our target root note. Okay, so we're walking down here. So D, C, B, B flat, A. And with shuffle eighth notes. Okay, so that's a really cool walk down that you can use as well. I'm now going to play through a whole chorus um, using these walk ups and walk downs. I'm going to play it to a backing track. Now, if you want that backing track, a hard copy yourself, you can purchase it in the shop. That's gbshed.com forward slash shop. And it's backing track number three. It's the same one um, that I used in my other video lesson, um, How to Survive a Blues Jam Night. Okay, so if you've got it already, you can use the same one. If not, and you want to get the backing track, it's really useful to play through. It's got about um, five choruses in it, then you can get that from the shop, and there's a link below in the description. So I'm going to play through now, and then just have a listen to these walk up and walk downs. Hopefully you thought that sounded a bit more exciting and authentic with those walk up and walk downs. Okay, this is a really popular walk up. It's used all the time in iconic blues bass lines. Bass players such as Duck Dunn um, and Tommy Shannon, they use them all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna put a playlist up here now. There's um, some bass line breakdowns from Duck Dunn and Tommy Shannon. Um, check those out and then just see if you can hear and see from the PDFs where these walk ups and walk downs are. What I suggest you do now is make sure you've got the PDF, you can get that below for free, and then play through these walk-ups and that walk-down, and make sure you understand the formula. Once you do, then try it in different keys, play the blues 12 bar in different keys, okay, and try and see if you can put those walk-ups in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you felt that you got value out of it, you can always buy me a coffee. You can see um, what the link is below at the bottom of the screen here. Or if you want a clickable link, you can go uh, into the description. And now there's a choice. You can do it by PayPal or Stripe. So it's a $5 coffee. Um, so that just kind of helps me to keep these um, PDFs and YouTube videos free. Don't forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to my channel as well. And also head over to gbshed.com. I've got loads of base resources. I've got t-shirts. You can buy this Walk the Blues t-shirt here. Um, I've got my video courses, free PDF. So go and check that out. And also there are loads of useful links in the description. So have a look in there. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video.